firstly, what is a competency-based question? Well, there are a series of questions that are designed to pull away from traditional skills or behavioural type questions that you would find in an interview. Typically, competency-based questions are there to build a picture of whether you are a good fit for an organisation, whether you are somebody that could be there for the long term. They are, in essence, a series of behavioural or competency-style questions to assess your suitability for an organisation which come in a variety of different styles. They are individual type questions, managerial, analytical, interpersonal and some of the soft skills, and motivational. All these competencies at some point in your interview will be stress test, will be examined, and the way we answer them will have a detrimental effect of our success or failure in that interview room. Firstly, individual competencies. So these type of questions are really there to understand what you're like as an individual. Are you quite decisive? Do you have good knowledge in what you're applying for? How independent are you? How risk adverse or how much of a risk taker are you? And what's your personal morality and integrity like? Questions in this competency will normally quiz a little bit about you more as a person, maybe when you've ran into difficult situations, when you've had to deliver bad news, maybe when there's been a little bit of conflict in previous roles or internally. Secondly, we've got managerial competencies. And I know this won't be relevant for everyone in this video, but really, if you are going for a sales manager, sales director type role, it's essential to demonstrate really strong influencing skills, leadership skills, man management and team management skills, and really be able to identify to that employer why you're a good fit from a management point of view, a cultural point of view, and a leadership point of view. There'll be no surprises in these questions. There'll be things like, tell me about when you've led a team. Tell me about the dynamic of your previous team. How do you manage risk takers in your previous roles? What do you consider to be a good approach to man management? And when have you effectively implemented that? Analytical competencies aren't always gonna prop up in sales-based roles, particularly at the business development side, but I really think that competency-based questions in this space are gonna be there to understand how well you are analyzing data, processing information, making changes and putting into practice some solutions, and then actually delivering that information back into the business in a way that most people will understand. Typical questions in this field will be all about analysing of data. Can you tell me how strong your analytical skills are? When have you been able to bring in a large piece of data into the business, interpret it and present it back to the organisation? What's your typical approach to problem solving in the organisation? Soft skills are essential regardless to whatever role you're going for. Unless you're going to work in a team of one, in an organisation of one, it's really going to, with zero stakeholders, it's really important that you come across as a really good cultural fit for the organisation. So when we think of soft skills, we're thinking of things like teamwork. We're talking about communication skills. We wanted you to highlight where you're a good cultural fit for that organisation. So typical questions will be, describe a situation where you've delivered a project in a team. Tell me about the different ways you communicate with your stakeholders in your previous role. When you've had an unhappy customer, how did you overcome that? Finally, motivational competencies. This is really triggered towards sales and BD folk, and I think this is one that certainly you're gonna to need to come across particularly strong in if you're going for a BDM role, an account manager role, or a sales management role, or sales rep for that matter. Motivational questions are exactly what it says on the tin. How self-motivated are you? How consistent are you in performance? How do you deal with rejection? How tenacious are you? How resilient are you? And are you a good fit for that sales culture? They'll ask questions like, how do you define success in your role? How self-motivated are you? And how do you compare that to your previous colleagues? Tell me about a time where you've missed a target and what did you do afterwards? What I suggest you do is have a look through the job description and have a think about what type of competencies they'll be asking you about. If it's analytical, will it be problem solving? Does the role that you're going through involve quite a lot of self-motivation. Think about what type of person would do well in that role and just list those competencies and begin to build your own answers in the template below. My final bit of advice is to really just practice and practice delivering those answers to those competency-based questions. It will just make it as easy as possible when you're in the interview room and under a bit of pressure to fall back on that practice, knowing that you have thought about the experiences that you have in your previous roles. Remember that these type of questions are not there to trick you. 
They're purely there to pull out some of your experiences and some of the skills and assess your suitability for the role that you're applying for. With a little bit of preparation, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine in your next interview. and I'm sure the job offers will start to come through. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate your support. And if you have any other questions, you can reach me below in the comments. Happy to help. Best of luck with your job search and I'll see you in the next video.